Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your October 2021 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well Taurus. So Taurus, rem remember these readings won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you as always. Let's see what we have for you, starting with the overarching energy for the month. Now it does take a minute or two to pull out the cards for my spread. So... By all means, fast forward if you don't want to see the shuffle. Just appreciate a lot of people do like to participate in the shuffle. Okay, message for Taurus. Your card has fallen out. Reversed. Interesting. Queen of Coins. I mean, it can be your energy. Taurus Virgo, Cap Taurus, Virgo Capricorn. Male or female energy. The Queen of Coins has fallen out. Reversed. High Priestess, trusting your intuition, inner knowing on a situation. Okay, let's see what that's about, Taurus. I'm going to pull the four general energies for the month. I don't normally do reversals, but obviously because it, it is your overarching dominant energy. It feels like the universe is telling you not to give to a situation whatever that is um, we'll find out message for Taurus please message for Taurus please four general energies for Taurus thank you two cards have fallen out together we have the three of cups and the strength card courage, strength Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, there could have been some financial lack as well that you've been experiencing in Taurus and from the looks of things it seems like it's going to change if, if you've been experiencing some level of financial lack or money worries in some way. Let us uh, let us pull an angel answer card for the overarching energy, please. Overarching energy for Taurus, thank you. I've got no. <laughs> You see, there's definitely an energy here of, of no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Well, here, in terms of what I will say, in terms of money, career, finances, if I was just talking about that, there is certainly an energy of, of it's positive. Unless, what other areas this is relating to? We will see if we get any other threads. But there's definitely something that you're not giving to anymore. Okay. Let's pull love, romance, relationships for Taurus, please. Two cards for love, romance, relationships for Taurus, thank you. Two cards for love, romance, relationships for Taurus. Yeah, two of swords. Eight of swords. The moon. Card of Pisces, the moon energy. You might be dealing with a Pisces. Through the cards on the table, we've got Leo or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've actually got the King of Cups. I did look at the bottom of the deck with that. I feel that that's a person. Okay, Taurus, let's see what we have for money, career, finances for you. You see, even when I cut the cards, you can see. <laughs> Money career finances, what very much one of the things that the Queen of Pentacles is absolutely keenly interested in. Not just that, but it is one of those key areas. Um, 
it, it seems fine or will be what do we have for money career finances for taurus thank you yeah we have the five of pentacles and we have the judgment card decisions choices hanged man waiting it's interesting i'm feeling that you're waiting on some kind of decision or you will be waiting for some kind of decision in october and i feel it's it's coming and it feels very good um i'm going to pull one more card with that yeah the empress which is your energy venus and taurus back in your element yeah okay taurus there is also an energy between these two energies of of this is what i deserve and this is what i stand for and this is what i don't stand for You're just Queen of Pentacles reversed is Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is uh, upright is is somebody who is bountiful who is not dissimilar to the Empress in all honesty somebody who is very bountiful but slightly more in terms of bringing understands how to bring stability and security and protect that which is of value to her, you know? And it still is an energy of, she holds dear to her that which is of value to her, but there's an energy of I'm not giving to a certain situation here. So because she's still holding the pentacle energy, I definitely feel for some of you, you are holding something that is very beautiful this month, close to your chest, you're holding on to that which matters to you. But I feel in a situation, you're just, I'm definitely getting for now, certainly for October, there's something and I feel it's someone that you're not giving to. It feels to do with love, romance, relationships. And remember, this can be in terms of a romantic partner, but it might also be to do with a family member or a friendship. There's, it just feels that you're right now, that it's just, I'm not even focusing on the area. I'm not giving to it. And it's interesting because the high priestess is here. So whatever's gone on in this love romance relationship area, it's almost like the universe is, is telling you not to give to it anymore. I, I feel Taurus that you have been very giving to somebody you have uh, catered, maybe catered to somebody's needs or helped somebody, uh, been very generous of spirit to somebody. And the energy that I'm getting and channeling is you've not, for whatever reason, however this has happened, you've not had anything back. And in fact, what you might have had back may have made you now make the decision, I'm not giving to that person any longer for October and that is what I'm getting uh, like I said you might be dealing with a Pisces it's interesting we've got the King of Cups as well Pisces Scorpio Cancer Germany of Scorpio for me as a reader the King of Cups um, there's, a, there's a feeling here of, of all is not what it seems with the moon energy I don't know if there's been some deception or lack of truth or things going on uh, that may, may have come to light here, Taurus. Whatever has happened here, there's certainly an energy if somebody wants to bring balance back in the relationship, they're offering you a cup. It can be a more mature person, the King of Cups, male or female energy, or it can be the energy of somebody who wants to... Um, can we rise above this? Can we put it behind us? Can we rise above this and just bring balance back into our lives? And it, it's, there's definitely an energy here. For now, I don't feel that you're giving to it. We have two of swords not wanting to see the truth, not wanting to make a decision in terms of what they're offering. And the blocking energy of the eight of ones, negative thinking. Um... There's just blocked energy, blindfold energy now. I am not wanting to deal with this person right now. So again, there's levels to these cards. 
But for now, I, I definitely feel in this situation, there's just somebody that you're not giving to. And for whatever reason, I'm feeling it's because of their actions in some way. And it feels like some level of things coming to light. However, that resonates for you. Because there certainly is, if I'm talking about love, romance, relationships, in whatever context this is, it doesn't necessarily feel just romantic either. So however that resonates for you, there is definitely an energy here of, of this new beginning. You're being very discerning in who is of value to you and who isn't. That's for sure. Um, and it might well be for some of you that your there's an energy of you standing in your own having your own standards and self-belief and again maybe changing your approach in terms of who you allow into your circle and who you don't whether that's love romance relationships friendships family you know th there's just this kind of energy if i'm not giving to this anymore this is somebody who knows who they value and who they don't now who they can trust and who they don't there's a feeling of I, I am saying trust i don't know whether there's been something to do with trust as well so in terms of money career finances here taurus i'm going to go over here i do feel that maybe there has been something where you've been struggling we do have the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles can be a card of feeling out in the cold, job losses, financial losses, not having enough money, changing contracts, business hours, changing title, changing responsibility. And it's generally which has seen you have a return on your money for less. You know, the salary has gone less. The money that you're getting is less. You're feeling lack in sufficiency. So it feels for some of you it definitely feels for some of you you've you've experienced some kind of financial loss but or financial changes for the detriment. However, the Queen of Pentacles is an energy of Somebody who understands how to be successful. Somebody who understands how to make money. Somebody who understands how to bring abundance into a life by being diligent, hardworking, focused, practical, understanding how to use the resources that she has to the best of those abilities. And that's what you're being asked to protect that which matters to you most. So that's what you're being asked to do this month. Embrace those qualities of what you have even when you don't feel something has made you not feel in your element upright queen of pentacles something has made you feel and tested you to the point where you have to use those skills and resources to turn something around in some way there is waiting but you will find the illumination this is an energy of waiting for something to play out it's interesting you know i, I definitely i feel you're waiting You'll be waiting for someone maybe to make a judgment call here. And I, I don't feel this is you. I feel for some of you, you're waiting for someone to make a judgment or a decision. And there's karmic energy here. Things will go in your favor because there's definitely an energy of this hard work and energy of the eight of so the queen of pentacles. Um, somebody who understands how to use those resources too for the betterment of her for self-advancement and we have the, the empress you back in your element so you can see that you can see the passage of the it's almost kind of like a timeline through october in those cards we have the lack we have the waiting we have the judgment call we have you back in your element venus in taurus and it's your major arcana feeling fully back in your element now, the Empress is the birth of something new. She's very good in terms of money, career, finances. She's a bountiful energy. She is new income in abundance here, Taurus. Um, and it's where you're just beginning to thrive again. It just feels very beautiful. Yeah, we have... 
The Page of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. News, communication going in your favour. A judgment going in your favour. Having waited, felt in limbo for a period of time that is putting you back in your element. Earth energy given to you by God, the divine, the universe. So some divine intervention, again, high priestess energy. It's almost like the universe is saying, don't worry, everything is going to come to you. Everything will become clear this month. But there may well be some period of waiting here. But I feel in October, the Ace of Pentacles is going to be revealed. A new opportunity, a new job offer, um, a new, you know, however this manifests for you, a new contract, um, a new company. I mean, you know, this can sometimes be a, a sum of money coming your way. Um I just feel there's some positive news coming. There's some positive news to do with a beautiful new beginning that is turning things around from feeling lack to feeling the new level of abundance, finally finding um, that new door opening for you. And my goodness, Taurus, it has taken a lot of strength and courage where well, you've had to really be resilient and resolute and not let the fear get on top of you. But it's going to end with celebration. You coming together with the people that matter to you the most and celebrating. Yeah. I love the reading. I love the reading. I'm going to pull you an abundance card. Sometimes I do this at the beginning, sometimes I do it at the end. So let's pull you an abundance card and see what we have for money career. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what was I saying? Bountiful nature. Yeah, you're going to experience that this month. We have spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside Enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars or do some other activity to connect with the limitless, fa limitless vastness. But you know, this is bounty. This is a new level of bountifulness coming your way. I love the fact that the cards are just reconfirming what we've been talking about. So let's pull one for love romance relationships, please. What do we have? Oh my goodness release your ex could be an ex situation so the time has come to clear your energy and why because something needs to be released here because it's holding you back from you being in your full power in all areas of your life so there's certainly an energy of don't give to whatever this is anymore because it's not serving your highest good. That's what the high priestess is saying. She's saying, no, don't, don't give to it anymore. It's a lovely reading, it's a lovely reading, Taurus. I'm going to finish with a fairy card and then we will call it a day. What do we have for Taurus, please? Message for Taurus, thank you. Yeah, shine from within. Looks around his skin deep, true beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. Absolutely beautiful. And the other one that fell out, we have find balance. Find the balance between your work, rest and playtime and you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. <laughs> Always makes me laugh the nap bit. There we have it. I hope you have a wonderful month, Taurus, and I will see you next time. Thank you.